We're talking about the number one hand surgeon in freaking Belgium. Now, of course, I didn't tell him that I was injecting an experimental peptide called BPC-157 twice per day in my hand. I wish I could show you more progress pictures. What's up, folks? It's Uranus. We're in Brussels. Welcome to another video. Today, we're talking about BPC-157 or body protection compound. Now, this peptide is well known for his healing properties. Some even go as far as calling it the Wolverine peptide because of its regenerative effect. Now, as a gym addict, an ex-ego lifter and an idiot, of course, I've injured myself many, many times in the gym, sometimes more serious than others. But one time I will always remember because I landed on the operating table in a hospital because I dropped a freaking dumbbell on my finger during a bench press and the finger literally exploded. So in the recovering process of that injury, I started experimenting with BPC-157, but I've also used it multiple times for more common injuries as tendonitis. So this is my experience with this peptide. All right, c'est parti. Before I start, I want you to know that this isn't medical advice at all. I'm not a doctor and I'm not motivating you or pushing you to take anything. This is just me sharing my personal experience for your information only. So on a Monday evening, I landed in the ER on the International Chess Day on Monday. I injured myself during a bench press. My finger literally exploded in between two dumbbells and I wasn't sure that, was, that I was ever going to be able to lift again. Now, I had a great surgeon and he did a procedure on me and it worked quite well. Now, if you want to see some gore, I have a specific video about that injury with all gory pictures. But if you watch that, be aware because you will literally see the insides of me. Now, as soon as I got out of the operating room, I started researching how I can speed up the recovering process and that's how i found out about bpc 157 now side note i literally need gym and lifting for my mental and physical health i am not the same person i'm simply not the same person at five times per week i'm not tearing up muscle fibers in a dark smelly place somewhere now i remember being at home for weeks after this injury and it really took a toll on my mental health so anything that could help my physical healing without putting my health in jeopardy i was interested in basically peptides are a short chain of amino acids the building blocks of protein now there are many peptides but this one is well known for healing muscles tendons ligaments for nerve damage for tissue repair for gut issues i have ibs we'll talk about it a little bit later in the video and for reducing inflammation now inside of your fingertips you have this so-called Pulp. There are these little fat bubbles that are inside of your fingertips. They are basically the flesh of your fingertips and they give the rounded shape to your finger. Well, if you ever cut yourself and you see these white little fat bubbles, then you know you're freaking deep. Well, in my particular finger, half of these fat bubbles were gone alongside a piece of bone. Along on top of that, during the surgery, of course, prior to the surgery, they had to put some anesthesia in my hand to be able to operate my finger without me jumping from the freaking table. And that was two really big, unpleasurable shots with a freaking needle this size. Now, they put the needle right here in my hand and right freaking here in my hand. Somehow, I don't know how, but they must have touched a nerve because afterwards I had pain twitching and problems with my grip in my left hand. Now, the surgeon fixed my finger as best as he could and he told me now we had to wait that my body was going to make new little fat bubbles in my finger that give shape to my finger. So that was the healing process. We had to wait and see if my finger was going to make enough of this little pulp or fat bubbles again so that my finger would have a normal freaking shape and that the surgery would have been a success. So the healing process was super important. The day after the surgery, I started taking BPC-157. Now it can be taken orally or in injections, but since I was already putting needles in my ass pretty much every single week because of HRT, I figured out injections would be the best possible option for me. Now it comes in dried frozen form, so you have to reconstitute it with bacteriostatic water and it best be injected as closely as possible to the area that you want the healing 
to occur in. That was the most difficult part for me because injecting anything into your finger is basically mission impossible. So I used 29G insulin syringes to inject the BPC into my hands. That was twice per day, twice 250 micrograms. I did that for six weeks and it freaking worked. I had a checkup every couple of days with the nurse and with the surgeon I had the surgery with and he immediately told me that the healing process was going better than freaking expected and it was going faster than they had expected. Now he told me that my finger was actually making the little pump or the fat bubbles and that the shape would somehow be normal again after. Remember the injury was quite traumatic, the, fingery, the finger didn't really look like a finger anymore. So the making of the fat bubbles was really important and it was going better than expected and my surgeon told me that, that during the surgery in his head he didn't think he was going it was going to be that freaking smoothly the healing part we're talking about the number one hand surgeon in freaking belgium now of course i didn't tell him that i was injecting an experimental peptide called bpc 157 twice per day in my hand i wish i could show you more progress pictures of the healing part of my finger because the body has amazing healing capabilities but unfortunately youtube tends to not like a lot of pictures and videos of blood and flesh maybe i will make a dedicated short regarding my healing process to be able to show you guys we'll see now bpc is derived from a naturally occurring protein found in the stomach now that protein is responsible for protecting and healing the GI or gastrointestinal tract. Of course, as I said it at the beginning of the video, I'm a bloody idiot and after two weeks they removed the wires in my finger and they told me you can now start to push light things with the palm of your hand again. And as soon as they told me that, I went back to the gym and it's only afterwards you realize how stupid gym guys can actually be. Not really, luckily, nothing bad ever happened in the freaking gym and thanks to the BPC, my finger kept on healing nicely. Now, the finger will never look the same again, but since you could almost see through it, I'm really happy about the outcome and the shape that it has today. I can actually use it for useful things. Now, the nerves that were damaged, unfortunately, never healed in the finger, but whatever, I have a finger. The second time I used BPC-157 was for treating bicep tendonitis. At the beginning of last year, I actually had the great idea to train, to do a workout with an actual freaking bodybuilder. We did back and unfortunately the next day i noticed my arm was really painful and that lasted for pretty much the entire year the funny thing is the guy i trained with actually also injured his right bicep during that workout so we must have done something really stupid that day now the guy has pretty much 30 pounds more contractile tissue than i have he's also on a bunch of other stuff like nandrolone and in, in like two or three weeks he was completely healed and me six months later i still had pain in my right biceps now it got worse after a couple of months and it got to that point where my arm was even hurting even when i wasn't using it or i wasn't moving it so eventually i started using bpc 157 in my triceps as closely as possible to the biceps uh, and it's now much better. I'm still not 100% there, but I'm getting better and better. I forgot to mention this, but I have IBS and my guts can sometimes be like the mood of woman during the bad week of the freaking months. And every time I used BPC-157, on top of healing my injuries, it was also making my digestions and my guts feel so much better. I had no more cramps and the flow was always better. So I had a reduction of 50% of my IBS symptoms every time I used this product. It's very important also is that I never experienced any side effect from using this product. So I think for people with chronic injuries or people with life impacting gut problems like Crohn's disease, it can actually be a freaking godsend. All right, that was my experience. Now, don't forget, I'm a stranger on the freaking internet and this wasn't medical advice. Some influencers, influencers out there are putting peptides on the same levels as BCAAs for adults. That's freaking bullshit, all right? We're still talking about products that are not approved by the FDA. So do your own freaking research. All right, ending it here. Can you do the YouTube things? Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Uranus out.